Hey, welcome back to Evil's Comics. I'm Evil Mike, and I have two reviews for you. I'm going to do the uh, first and second issue of Scout Comics by the Horns. Um, it is written by uh, Mark Sun Nasso. Um, we got art by Jason Muir and colors and letters by Andrea uh, Tabashuru. I know I mispronounced and butchered those names. I'm sorry. I'm really bad with names. Um, <clears throat> So let's get into it. Um, by the horns, right? So we are following um, Ellie. And Ellie is on a mission to kill every unicorn in this mythical land that she exists in. In this land, it is in a medie medieval type settings and there's all kind of mythical, magical creatures. And for some reason, she is on a journey um, <clears throat> to kill every last unicorn that's out there. This is a, it does start off right here with a future scene, uh, Ellie standing, presiding over this, this unicorn that she has uh, dispatched, uh, basically the warding is from the unicorn as it's taking its last breath, and then it jumps, uh, it goes back into the story one year ago, uh, starting out at the main uh, village, which is Wayfarer, where she is from. Um, she is just returning to this village after being gone from quite a bit of time, and she is basically like a monster hunter. So, uh, she has been on this journey trying to kill like uh, unicorns as she goes along and with not finding any she just kind of kills anything that has horns anything that kind of resembles uh, like a, um, a unicorn she uh, basically brings bits and pieces back to the town trying to sell what she can and most of the time with you know after nobody wants the monster pieces that she brings back she usually turns it into monster soup that no one ends up liking, including herself. She gets here and runs into most of the town that she ends up liking, and one of her friends, Ren, that she, I think she ends up living with. Um, and they kind of show a couple different scenes, but basically, Ren eventually, you know, finds Ellie on a rooftop, and they have a, a different type of conversation. But while you know, as soon as Ellie got back, the town kind of decided and they took it to vote, but basically they, they are banishing Ellie from the town. Uh, they used to love Ellie and they used to appreciate her and this and that, and recently, since she has picked up this, this vengeance for killing unicorns, they don't see it as healthy. And they are basically banishing her um, until she, she has gotten the killing the unicorns out of her system kind of thing. Um, they have no problem with her being in the town and you know and b because it's basically like a farming type of town and they don't really have need for a adventurer slash you know merc you know mercenary killer kind of thing um, so he basically you know in his in his kindest and gentlest way tells her hey you know you know leave this town go do what you got to do and then come back to us you know there's there is a place for you it's not that we're doing this out of hatred or anything like that we just, you know, you, you're, you're, you're kind of, you know, um, it's turned into an obsession that they want her to deal with kind of thing. So the book jumps forward three months later with uh, Ellie and her friend. Um, uh, the, it's kind of like a, like a deer kind of dog. Uh, I don't know how you would explain him, but he is a mythical creature and it's basically her companion. Um, but they, they jump forward three months in, into the future and she is just basically still on this journey and killing everything that she comes across that resembles like a monster. And, you know, whether it looking peaceful or not, as long as it's got horns, she's taking it down. Um, I think her, 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 her like dog, um, deer friend is called Sujin. Um, but basically they, there is a... A couple different times where they stop and you know he, he's kind of like hey what are we doing you know we don't even have any clues we've been doing this for three months now and we haven't run into any unicorns he was like what's the game plan you know and um, basically they have learned that they have seen you know that she has learned that they're gotten wind or you know however you want to put it but she's gotten a tip that there are some unicorns in this place called Lycus and that's where the story kind of takes us. They do show this like little map, which I thought was kind of cool of like her, you know, her adventure along the way and some of the monsters that, you know, she has encountered and her little like tips and tricks into killing specific said monsters like blades work better on these guys, you know, fire works better on these guys kind of thing. 
Um, but eventually she does make it to Lycos, a trading port city of the coast of Fangi, you know, or Fange. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of weird names in this book. I don't know if I, I'm pretty, pretty sure I'm mispronouncing all of them. Um, but basically she gets here. As soon as she gets here, she runs into like a, a, like a monster merchant guy that does, you know, end up buying monster parts and stuff like that. She ends up uh, finding this one, you know, dealer where he does sell like, uh, he's supposed to sell like magical items and stuff like that. And that's where she believes she's going to get, you know, tips on the, the unicorns. And basically he's like, look, if you buy something, he was like, I'll tell you anything you want to know, especially about these unicorns. And he goes into the story about how like, like she's not really going to get a whole lot of help in this city because there's something going on in the background. And he kind of goes into telling that there's this wizard that lives on this island that's close to this town. And they show the, the where the wizard lives right here. But basically, he has two unicorns that they show down here. And uh, basically, this evil wizard, and I do say evil, but this evil wizard has been collecting every magical item within, you know, within his reach, which, which is the town. And basically, anybody that, that kind of goes against him or, does, you know, doesn't say... You know, <clears throat> he basically turns them into magical goo. But basically, this wizard has been collecting anything of magical presence or magical energy, or you know, and that that's why he has the two unicorns in his possession. And that's where she's off to, and you know, at the end of the first issue. Um, but that was the the first issue right there. We'll get right into the uh, second issue, and Ellie and. Uh, I'm already mispronouncing his name, but it's Sinjir, but they're on their way to see that wizard. We get a, a lot, lot more of the backstory, why she's uh, wanting to, you know, on this destruction of Unicorn's mission, and it's because that she used to have, you know, uh, she used to be married, and she was getting married, and it looks like on that, uh, on that wedding day, we saw that, that Unicorn's come in, and they basically kill her lover, she, in like a last ditch effort trying to protect her he, he you know jumped in her way and it looks like the unicorns trampled him or, or you know they, they don't really show what the unicorns did but another thing is we are seeing this in dream format um, so I want to assume the unicorns they show here are like nightmare versions of the unicorns yeah they, they, they don't look the same because this is her nightmare kind of thing I want to assume um, if it's not the fact that she is dreaming and this is what these these unicorns look like. They, they don't really look like unicorns to me. They look like nightmares and, and mythical math, magical creatures. There are horses that are called nightmares and they do have flaming mares. They usually tend to fly and they usually are, are the, the bad magical versions of unicorns. Us, unicorns are usually like mythical, magical, but they're the pure, peaceful, you know. Um, so she does wake up screaming, you know, her friend Shintaro and, and Shintaro is close, which they do show here and, and basically, you know, <clears throat> kind of stating that they've been having the dreams and he states, hey, the rental boat's ready, let's go ahead and get along, you know, with this uh, journey to go find this wizard, which they show he's on this little island with the tree and everything. Um, they do end up approaching the, the door and it is... Uh, it, it, there's kind of like they, they show right here it's this big eye but I don't know if he's like he, he's basically like the the butler of this uh, you know the wizard's castle or whatever but <clears throat> they are greeted at the door and basically he's like oh and they don't have to say too much he's like hey oh you brought those magical items y'all are late you know come on in you know he, the, my lord's been waiting on y'all kind of thing and so there's not really any need to sneak in or anything like that because they're they're welcomed in, and she just kind of goes along with the, uh, with the story, uh, excuse me, you know, with the story, and you find out that the, the butler is kind of like this, this, uh, eye, it's a living eye, and basically he explains that, and she's never seen anything like this, she's kind of, uh, even in all her monster slaying and stuff like that, she's never seen anything like the eye, and, uh, basically the eye explains that, um, that his name is Evelyn, or her name, but but Evelyn basically explains that he used to be a part of a big giant, and the wizard came across the giant, killed the giant, took out his eye, and magically made the eye a living creature. And now that that's that basically, you know, it it, it Evelyn is Evelyn. You know, it's just this eye with tentacles kind of thing. Um, 
but basically Evelyn leads them to you know where the the main where his lord the wizard is and as soon as they get there the wizard knows that something is not right his name is Futin which they show right here in glorious fashion but Futin knows right away that that this is not you know his his magical uh, you know delivery that is supposed to ensue and she's like hey you're a wizard let's do this you know and it's just I mean right off the bat they get they go into action and um, they quickly learn that this wizard is no joke that because he has been amassing all this magical power and magical items uh, he is OP like a mother and um, you know I mean, he, he basically takes out her friend like right off the bat and um, starts commencing to knock in the crap out of her using all kind of different magical blows and just physical blows he has like robotic arms that are magically kind of working to him um, as this is going on we do see the unicorns that are locked up and we do see that they are talking um, to one another and they're kind of mentioning hey we, we need to help her out or she's going to die one of the other unicorns is like, shouldn't we be worried about ourselves? And the other unicorn's like, well, we can't really get out. So, I mean, like, it kind of makes sense that we help her out. And maybe that can, like, you know, um, get us out of here. So one of the other unicorns is like, well, since she is distracting him, the, the magical, you know, bubbles that are keeping us in here are, are thinning. Not enough for us to break out, but enough where we can give her our horns. Um, me reading this, I was like, give her her horns. I was like, what the heck? But, um, sure enough, as shown in the scene, they do, they are able to make little kind of, uh, barrier breaches and their horns do extend onto the other side. They start yelling at the girl to grab the horns and sh she's kind of hesitant at a second, especially since she is on this journey to kill these unicorns. She doesn't want to get help from them. But she does grab the horns, and as soon as she does, they, they they light up with all kinds of magical power. And not only that, but she does connect the two horns, and all of a sudden it turns into a, a badass-looking sword. Um, she, uh, with this newfound power, she instantly starts, you know, attacking this wizard and stuff. And she ends up, at one point, throwing the sword at the uh, wizard guy. And the sword, as it's in mid midair, turns into a gigantic, like, woven you know, a horn that is thrown at the, um, at the wizard and eventually it, like, impaling him. Um, she does, uh, grab the massive horn that it turned into and she, it, she, do, it does convert back to a sword. She kind of slashes it a couple times, you know, and then she does take the sword and it turns back into the massive horn that it did before. And she ends up, uh, like, breaking that horn in two back down to its original, like, two horn forms. And she stabs the uh, wizard, killing him, releasing all the magical powers, you know, that, that he was kind of collecting, absorbing and stuff. And they, they, everything just kind of, kind of uh, you know, like the, the, the protection that the unicorns were facing all of a sudden dissipates, you know. But they learned that the magical castle that they are around... It, it all starts coming down because it was being held up by magic as well. So now it's this this flight thing where you know <clears throat> Ellie, you know her friend, and then the two unicorns and Evelyn have to, you know, mass rush out of the castle before it kind of tumbles on itself. Ellie does come through in a pinch, and she tells them that hey, I, you know, if we go this way, we're gonna die. We're not gonna make out enough time the way y'all came. But we, I, there is a secret way, and she does, you know, take them to this, you know, the secret way. She does this, like, magical spell that really, you know, opens up this kind of uh, magical door. And they do manage to make it out to the, uh, the boat in enough time. Um, once they get into the boat, it's kind of like this conversation between the two unicorns and between uh, Shinjar and... Um, and Ellie about what, what they're going to do and that kind of thing. And Ellie instantly wants to kill the two unicorns right off the bat. Um, you know, Shinjar is like, hey, they just helped us, you know, as long while they're on the boat, it kind of grants them like a peaceful ride. You know, they saved us kind of like the opposite. It's not like we just saved them. No, they, they, they were the reason why we were able to take out that wizard kind of thing. So they, they, she kind of, um, you know, agrees to a truce until they get to the pier as soon as they get to the pier she's kind of like okay truce over let's go kill these unicorns and as soon as they get to the pier they are greeted by this town of like 
you know, everybody like, you know, cheering and parading for them because, you know, she just took out this evil wizard that's been, you know, tormenting and killing, you know, parts of, parts of this town. So there is no time to for her to kill the unicorns because she's mass rushed by the town, you know, parading her and wanting, wanting to literally throw a parade in her honor. The last page of the book, we do get to see the setup of the rest of the story, but um, our, our our wizard friend that she just took out was one of four magical badass wizards that are out in this world, and now that that guy's you know magical power flow back into the world, we know now where it went. It went to these other three wizards, which they show one being in this like ice you know kind of. Um, setting another being in a desert setting and the last one looks like in a kind of a hellish setting like maybe an undead necromancer type of thing um but that's where this issue leaves off at um i mean so far it's 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 got a great story it's got a great setup i love the lore the art is popping the story just flows um it, so far it's great man I, I highly suggest picking up by the horns i've heard a lot of great things about it and you know, I was looking forward to the read, and now that I've done with the first two, I'm really looking forward to continuing on with the story. But hey, that's my review, guys. I'll let y'all go. I hope y'all have a great Saturday. I will see y'all soon. I got more reviews popping. Bye, guys.